G'day guys, Andrew from Ozivo here. So today um, I wanted to have a quick talk about a new device I've installed on my car, a new product. I have traditionally run a Plex tuning display. I've done videos on this before. This is the little uh, USDM uh, 100 so it's the smallest of the plex displays they do arrange everything from this one up to uh, glass cluster replacement size screens uh, as you all know evo has a pretty rudimentary setup as far as the information being sent back to the uh, driver really only has one gauge bar fuel which is an engine temp gauge uh, doesn't have boost even so everybody who drives these cars pretty much runs aftermarket gauges normally just attached to different points around the front of the dash there i was doing the same i had two on sitting on my steering wheel column and another one on the bottom of the a pillar um i can't really remember i think it was boost and oil pressure and maybe oil temp uh, but it was a bit of a mess it wasn't ideal so Quite a few years ago now, Ben Perry up at uh, Benchmark when he tuned my car, installed, as well as installing this, he installed a Link ECU. So these things are CAN bus, and uh, CAN bus needs to be on aftermarket ECU, so it doesn't work with the OEM uh, ECU that's installed in the Evo. So been running this thing like I said for a few years it's a 2.4 inch diagonal display um, nice little unit does the job very well has all the information basically it it will show you everything that your sensor package display or sends to the ECU so obviously that's very dependent on how many sensors you have installed the more you have the more information you'll get out of the um, condition or the um, what's happening with your engine at any one point I um, was happy with that, but now Plex has de um, developed or has uh, released a new display called the USDM 200. So it's the up version, this is now discontinued, and that's this unit here. So I'll just flick this around. Yeah, so this is the unit. Um, so pretty much the same kind of concept it's designed as a gauge replacement not as a cluster replacement so you still need to run your standard evo cluster which i'm happy to do because i quite like the idea of that rather than running a in a secondary screen or a, a screen in there instead and what this unit's designed to do is it's designed to replace gauges so um, again depending on your sensor package um, that information will be relayed from the ECU through to you via this display. Like I said, it's a bigger display. It's 2.88 inch diagonal screen, so substantially bigger when you're looking at it than the original 100 unit. And it um, is also a coloured screen. It's a bit hard to see there, but if I darken this up there, you can see it's a coloured screen. So pretty much, I don't know how many, 16,000 colours or something. You can customise that to however you want it to look. Um, again, aluminium housing, uh, instead of having the two buttons like the original unit on the side there, it has four. So it has a back, front, back, enter and up and down buttons that allow you to scroll through different screens. Oh, sorry, that one there like so. Uh, it also is a touch screen, so you can scroll through screens with your finger. Um, it has three LEDs on top as opposed to the single one on the original unit. Uh, they can be used as shift lights, as settings in there to adjust that. It also has a mounting um, holes on the back, which the original one didn't have, two 3mm threaded holes on this one, which does make it a bit easier for fitting it up to your car. Um, the old one was a bit limited. It, I used double-sided tape. I know a few of the guys who do 3D printing were printing up little housings for them. A few guys were kind of mounting them over here in the clock. Um, so various things, people had them down here in the cigarette ashtray thing, but I always had mine mounted to the top of my um, steering column trim with a aluminium arm so I like to have them looking right at my face um, I don't want to have 
look around the cab to look at different things. Uh, yeah, so um, it's also another thing too, which is a bit different, is this one can be powered from a USB from a laptop, whereas the old one had to be powered by the car. So that powered from the laptop doesn't sound like a big thing, but it means you can sit in your lounge room and muck around with it and get it running and adjust the screens and do all the work you need to do it without having to sit in your car and do it. So it sounds like a kind of little thing, but it actually makes a big difference in the, uh, the how the thing works and how easy it is to kind of work with. Uh, I'll just uh, go back to that darker look to look at the screen. So like I said, it's a coloured screen. It That looks better. It's a kind of nice look, but the big difference is that it actually allows you to adjust the colours to different when different parameters are not being met or being met. So as an example with this fuel pressure, you can see there. I'll just zoom in a bit so you can see. Oh. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in here. So as you can see there, fuel pressure is green, the value 36.5. Now if that was um, outside of, I think about 30 PSI I've got it set at, that would be red like engine temp is on the other side there. So you can have it set up where if the, say, fuel pressure is too low or too high, it'll be red. And if it's just in the middle where you want it to be, it'll be green. Same with oil pressure, same with oil temp, or same with engine temp on this. If the engine temp is too cool, cold, um, it's red. And when it hits about 76, I think I've got it set at, it goes green and then you're good to go up to about 90, then it goes red again. Um, on that screen, on the second screen there, whoop. You can see there how I've got it set up. So each of those fields, engine temp, intake, air, oil temp, fuel pressure, oil pressure, and ECU volts has a range. And that range, if met, will make that bar green. If not met, it'll be red. So if I turn that screen on and look at that and that's all green, then I know the whole system's ready to go and everything's working correctly in the car, at least as far as those sensors go. If one of those sensors is red, let's say if the um, fuel pressure is in the red or the oil temp pressure is in the red, whether that's too low or too high, it'll um, let me know that something isn't functioning. Of course, all these screens are customable, so you can add different things. This is another one I've got here, which has air fuel, the boost calc, which on my car is a dial, which won't be working because it's not plugged in, but um, that shows you I've got four settings for my boost depending on how much boost I want to run from 22 up to like 35 PSI. Ethanol content from the fuel flex uh, sensor or flex fuel sensor in the car. Um, throttle position sensor and fuel temp. Now fuel temp's not working, I don't know why. Um, I talked to Ben about it, maybe some information he put in there wasn't correct, but I can't get that to show any difference in fuel temp. But hopefully at some point I'll get that functioning. Um, yes, so that's the display. Like I said, it sits. Um, in your car wherever you want but like if you have it set up like mine it sits to a point over to the side there so when I am driving the car I can still see my full my full cluster the rpm and the speed um, and uh, it just sits off to the side there it also has these displays have alarm settings so I've actually got that set up on that front screen there let me just go back to that one. So on this one here, which I'll just show you here, you see that one's red. So that means the oil pressure is low. So if that oil pressure was not low, that would be in the black, like the ones underneath. But because the oil pressure is low because the engine's not on, then it sits red and they will flash up red when I'm driving along if that oil pressure drops down and above that there's a gear gear select so that works off rpm and wheel speed and it tells you what gear you're in and that'll change as you're driving along so it just gives an indication of what gear you're on um, or in when you're driving um, so as part of this package this comes with a new uh, let me just open this here a new um, software for your tuning of it so this is uh, what they call device manager 2 
um, the original little display I showed you was off Device Manager 1, so there's been some improvements to this, obviously to facilitate um, the coloured screens and everything. And you can go in here, select the screen that you want to do, and then you can go adding these tiles in different versions, and you can then go in if you adjust stuff, and it gives you the ability to adjust low and high pressures for this one for um, boost um, so obviously 36.5 my high but go above 36.5 I'm going to get that boost will turn change color to red um, and you can also go in there and edit all this stuff here and then test it and it'll show you everything functioning as it would when you're driving along um, to make sure you've got everything set up right so it's a pretty simple setup it really does work well um, these type of things aren't my strong suit as far as programming kind of computers and stuff in this regards, but I've had no problems really getting all this working. They do have, uh, comes with, um, you can download, no, I don't do that. Um, you can download um, Link or Motec or Haltech or whatever. Um, preset kind of sets of uh, information so you can just load those up you don't have to go and enter each thing um, individually uh, there's a setup page here so this is like CAN bus information this is where it gets a bit complicated when you're setting up um, your CAN bus um, hex ID hexes and stuff like that in here um, so a lot of these ones are from the factory or from um, Plex themselves as part of a link um, package and then if you go down the bottom here um, there's a few extra there like the fuel temp and boost cal and all those which ones I've entered myself to get them to function so as you click on these things it'll come up with the information um, and that's how you go entering that information into the unit so it's a bit of a steep learning curve this pro this um, program is in don't know if it still is, but was in beta for a while. They're still improving it. This unit, this display is brand new. It's only been on the market now for a week. I've got one of probably one of the first kind of ones out to customers on the on the planet. I would think there wouldn't be too many floating around. So um, I've been a big fan of Plex products um, for a while. Um, I think they're a good company to deal with. I've had no issues with getting help when needed. Um, they're always happy to email you and answer questions if I've got any problems so um, yeah so uh, a few other things you can set up in here you've got stuff like alarms and stuff that you can set up here and these basically allow you to set a say oil pressure you can set up all your oil pressure where you want things to be so at 1000 rpm or at you know, 7,000 RPM, if oil pressure drops below 45 PSI, it'll actually flash up a full screen warning on the display to um, let you know there's something gone wrong there. So things like oil pressure is good, um, fuel pressure, you can set up highs and lows, so if it goes too high, you can, um, you know, there might be a, you know, a filter that's blocked or something. If it goes too low, you could have a hole or a, a line down or something like that, or a pump fail. And I mean, obviously your ECU is doing the job here to protect your motor, but this will let you know what's going on, where the problems are. So yeah, so that's the display and the kind of the idea of it all. I think it's a good little unit. Um, I'm still playing around with it a little bit. It's not something that I've um, had for very long. I've only had it for a few days really, but I've, um, yeah, so far I've, um, you know, got it functioning on my car now. So, um, yeah, so I've been pretty happy with it at this point. And uh, hopefully as uh, Plex uh, release more updated versions of the firmware for the display and for the uh, programming, um, more and more things will come on board. It has like your own sensors and GPSs and stuff like that you can have I've turned on in the unit I haven't got that stuff this is just the more basic display but um, it has the ability to log lots of engine parameters um, you can go back to and stuff like that which I haven't set up so I'll have to get around to that at some point 
Anyway, again, so available from Plex uh, Tuning in a, in Greece um, directly. It's about a thousand dollars for this unit, so they're not a cheap display. I know you can get quite like larger displays from Howtech and stuff for probably less price, less dollars, but very very good quality aluminium cases and stuff, and a um, little bit different just being a small display, um, but a very neat option for for a car compared to having normal dial kind of displays all over the place uh, yeah and maybe you can get them from Ben up at um, Benchmark I'm not too sure what his situation is with these displays at this point I bought my original one from him I know that Plex were having a bit of trouble with supply of product for a while there during COVID so um, I think Ben was having a bit of trouble getting stuff but whether that's remedied itself now uh, it's hard to say um, I don't know but a phone call would answer that question if you're interested um, if not, yeah, um, Plex in Greece will definitely sell you one. Okay, I'll flip this around. Just that out there. Okay, I think that's about it. Um, I will keep going. I'll talk to you all later. Um, if there's any questions in regards to this um, unit or setting it up or whatever, feel free to comment on the uh, page. I'll put this up on, uh, obviously on Facebook on Ozuvo and also put it up on Ozuvo video, which is the YouTube Ozuvo, which is just basically me rambling on about crap. Uh, yeah, so I'll put it up there, ask questions, I'll try and answer them if I can. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay, have a good uh, evening. It's now like 10 o'clock here at night. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you all when I talk to you next. Okay, see you guys.